Hi guys, Chris here from Toma and Gearhead University. Today we're going to talk about five super cool modern fuzz pedals. If you want to skip the talking, you can click the links in the description. And if you wish to subscribe, thank you. That helps us a lot and it doesn't hurt. And um, we can move on. We have this beautiful Jimi Hendrix Stratocaster made in Mexico. Again, just um, as we had with the five vintage fuzzes, which we did already. If you want to check that out, you find it in our video list on a Toman YouTube channel. Uh, we have also this beautiful bass breaker 15 from Fender with the Harley Benton 2x12 cabinet with the selection vintage 30 speakers in it. Otherwise, we have all the nice pedals. Let's start with the Carcosa Fuzz from DOD. This baby has four knobs and a switch. Um, you have your two different sort of gain structures. Actually, it's just one gain knob and a bias knob. Uh, it's called before, the big one on the left, and after which is the small one left down. And um, they kind of react to each other. The before knob is more of the traditional distortion, sort of clear and tight gain structure. Um, that's really usable and it, it is a fuzzy sound, but it's super smooth. So it's, it's absolutely versatile because of that. And if you go with the after, with the bias knob, more um, clockwise, you get this really full and fluffy and muddy and swimming awesome crazy fuzz sound. So it's, it's absolutely cool and usable pedal. If you need just a cool strut sound with some dirt on it, you can use it with the uh, before knob turned quite, uh, quite up. And if you need a thick fuzz sound, you can use the after as well and balance it just the way you like it. You have your output, of course, and your high cut, which um, reacts to the after knob. So if you go with the after clockwise, you get more treble as well. And, um, and also um, you get this gated fuzz sound, which is more the crazy sick sounds what you get from fuzz pedals. And with the high cut, you can compensate. If you have too much treble on your sound, you can just uh, roll it back. The little switch in the middle um, with two names, two words, which I will not even try to pronounce. Up, you have more bass and uh, more lower mids. So if you use your fuzz with a clean amp, that kind of works really good. And if you use anyhow some dirt on your sound and you use the Carcoso, you can switch the little switch down and you have uh, less bass and, and that kind of uh, reacts better if you have, uh, as I told, a little gain in your sound already. So let's, uh, let's hear it. That's the guitar with the amp without any pedals on. It's super tight for a fuzz. It, it almost sounds like a, a dry and hairy and kind of aggressive low gain distortion and not even that much as a fuzz, only if you dig in really hard. Um, it will change a lot if you go with the after knob upwards. By the way, it's totally normal that the bias switch, if your fuzz pedal has one, it's a cool thing and it will always be noisy when you turn it. It's not like it's, it's uh, you know, it has a problem or something that is normal. You cannot do something about it. It will sound like this. So let's go with the na uh, bias um, to 12 o'clock. <laughs> It's 
way more aggressive. And if we go even further, it's gonna be really sweet. <laughs> It's also cool if you play melodies and stuff with singer coils. Uh, you can go back with your highs a little mm -hmm. and even go further clockwise with your after knob and it's gonna, it's gonna get really sweet and, and uh, horn-like. <laughs> Of course, crazy, just as fast pedals should do. If you're a little careful with your after knob, with your bias knob, and don't overdo it, just use the before knob, the actual gain knob, um, it will get really distorted and nice and thick, and it cleans up really nice as well. That's, that's a cool combination. So full on, and then I'm just turn the volume back. <laughs> The next one, Red Witch, Fuzz God 2. It has two switches which react totally different. The first one, the left one, is just after uh, actually your on and off switch, with which you will um, use your volume fuzz and um, the last knob, which is the bias knob. That's most important on a pedal because that's your fuzz sound. You have two switches with this, you engage a little more treble if you turn it uh, to the left and a little softer if you turn to the right. And that's your gain switch, that's normal gain, and to the right it's double gain. You also have this knob here, the red, and your second foot switch, which is a totally different story and we'll talk about it just in a second. So, um, I'll give you one or two examples what sort of sounds you can expect. It's a really nice and mid-rangey fuzz. Uh, it's not that hairy, not that bassy, and you find some super gated sounds or singing long sustained sounds. First, let's try something gated. <laughs> Okay, and now more of a singing, nice and sustainy sound. So, um, normal game. And double game. Oh my God. 
All right, and the, um, the ear switch, which is a treble switch. Again, a normal gain. You can kind of decide if you want more of an edgy sound, if you use like humbuckers or something, it's kind of cool and it comes in handy. Or with single coils, you can decide if it fits your amp or, or it's just too much and then you just flip it to the right and you're good. All right, the right switch. <laughs> well, I don't think I have to say anything about it. It's just uh, turn it on and you'll see. So that's, that's, that's just the left one, normal fuzz, and then I switch it on. No, it doesn't do subtle <laughs> on the right side. That's, that's what it is. If you use, uh, read the manual, it says like, be aware of that switch. That's, that's gonna unleash some, uh, some, some powers. So the ZVEX Volume Mammoth, it's a really interesting fuzz. All the open-minded fuzz users love this for years. It's on the market, so it's, it's not a new one, but it's uh, an absolutely special one with some crazy and nice original flavor to it. So um, you can set your output, your equalization, your pinch and wool, which changes different frequencies or your, your uh, gain structure. It's a really interesting one. I just play a couple of sounds and you'll hear what the knobs do. That's I think the best way to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a good one. Crazy. If you turn the pinch and the wool down, it's super open. It doesn't compress. It does, but it doesn't compress like, like you cannot even control it or you, you cannot figure out what the player is playing. So it's, it's um, way more usable. And if you want to really go nuts, you just turn the pinch, um, most importantly, but also the wool a little more clock, uh, clockwise and you have your monster sound way, 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 way bigger and, and more gated, of course. Cool! Velvet Fuzz from Wampler, which we've learned how to pronounce. NAM Show 2017. Okay, it's uh, a more subtle one. It still does, of course, super big and super bassy and super, super, but it could be set on a tight setting. In the middle is the tiny little toggle switch, um, and with a tight setting, it's way more controllable, sort of a fuzzy distortion. I always say like it's for people who are sort of into fuzz, but are not that familiar with this, um, with this super aggressive hairy sound. So they want sort of a distortion that can sound like a fuzz. 
you can achieve that with the velvet fuzz. And um, you can, of course, go in a different direction and, and just really go nuts. So let's try it. Fuzz a little bit, the brightness in the middle. Let's check the volume. <laughs> But that's a super tight fuzz pedal. That makes any sense with a fuss pedal. We'll figure it out. Fuzz if you turn it into, into uh, the lower um, setting on the toggle switch, a tight setting. It's, I mean, it, it is a hard clipping distortion, so sort of a fuzz, but it's, it's absolutely not typical. And if you want to have like one pedal with which you can use your strat, tally, whatever, what probably single coils react better to that um, sort of uh, hard clipping with low gain settings and stuff, it's fine, it's really cool. And then for some songs, I don't know, you play a Retro Chili cover or you just play a, a sick, uh, fuzzy sound you know, needed for a song or something, well, it's all there, it's super sweet. Alrighty, Eruptor Earthquaker devices. The brand is not known to, to produce and create subtle pedals. I mean, there are subtle pedals existing in their, you know, repertoire, but most of them are really experimental, cool and crazy and modern and, and very inspirational pedals. Actually, I thought this will be sort of a, like a volcano, uh, like, uh, like on a graphic, on a pedal. You just turn it on and your brain just explodes. Well, it does, but it's, it's um, sort of an explosion What you can bring with yourself on stage because it's not like nine o'clock, okay, still usable, 10 over the top. It's not at all, it's, it's a really sweet thing. You have just one huge knob, I love that. And with that, you can actually set it. It's, it's lots of little sweet spots on it. It's not like usable, Whew, and like, no way I can use that. It's like low gain, warmer, super cool. In the middle of 12 o'clock, kind of a balanced sound. And if you go like all the way up, it's just a super sweet, but um, not unmanageable compressed sound. It, it gets a little more trebly as well. So it, it's more recognizable. Your, your tones are really there and, and it's, it's really nice. Um, let's just give it a go. Okay, one thing it doesn't do, uh, low gain. <laughs> that's, that's not gonna happen. It is, it starts with rock and roll already, uh, all the way to the left.
kind of thing that they design the pedal to to use it all the way on because for me that's that's more of more of a usable sound all the way up because you have enough trouble to um, to cut through your your mess what you're making with your distortion because it's of course a super thick sound it's fuzz of course and um, and you can still hear even fast notes which is which is super cool and let's see how it cleans up. The Eruptor actually has a center detent where they say it's at 12 o'clock, of course, they say that's the perfect fuss sound. So um, if you go counterclockwise, it gets warmer, more gated, and a little more quiet. If you go clockwise, it gets a little more louder and, um, and also more trebly and, uh, and has more gain even. And now... I'm gonna play the same lick with all five of these. I'll set them to sound pretty much similar, that you get the, um, the corrector difference between all these uh, pedals and um, let's see. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe, we're absolutely happy, please do it. And um, please comment and we'll be back next Thursday, Thursday with a new guitar gear video. Don't miss it. See you soon guys. Cheers. Chris out. <laughs>